Penguin Kids is hosting a book-inspired Halloween costume contest, and I'm going to show you how to make your costumes a little extra special with face paint and a few very easy techniques. To start our adorable little corduroy teddy bear mask, we are going to do two half circles over the eyes and connect them with a line, and that's going to create the ears of our teddy bear. From that, we are going to take a line from the outside ear and pull it down to the corner of the mouth, and that's the basic shape of this teddy bear. It is very, very simple. So now I'm going to start to shape the muzzle, and I'm starting with a line in that dark brown face paint just going over the nose, and then I'm going to take some lighter tan face paint, and I'm going to pull it down around the lips and then back over the nose to create a circular shape that is going to be our muzzle. And now I'm going back to the darker brown face paint. I'm going to start filling in the rest of our mask. Now my little friend Will here did mention he didn't want paint over his eyes, so I'm being very careful to go around his eyes and not get too close. I'm also leaving another half circle in the ears where I'm going to add some darker face paint to create some definition for the ears later on, as well as I'm going to outline the bottom of our muzzle. Now I want to mention that face paint is not a requirement to enter the contest for Penguin Kids. However, if you'd like to try this look, this is a pretty easy starter look to try and I'll put a link to a starter face paint kit down below. You do want to use water activated face paint and not a cream based face paint because it's going to be a lot easier to manipulate. Now I'm going to do black for the nose and then a line down and a few lines to create the smile. Now obviously my, my friend here is very very excited so I also want to give you a tip if you have a wiggly kid or you're doing this on a very very small kid or if they're just really excited like my little friend then you can see every time I put my hand on his head he kind of calms down and relaxes so it's a good trick just put your hand on their head you don't have to hold them tightly but it's kids are really intuitive so they know that when your hand is there that it's time to stop moving and you can get some painting done and then when you go to reload they can get all their wiggles out and now with a small round brush and some dark brown face paint, I'm just adding some hair on the outside of our teddy bear mask, around the ears and around the side of the face, as well as at the very, very top to create that fluffy little teddy bear look, which corduroy definitely has. This is a great look to try if you're just starting out as a face painter because it's quite simple. Now, if you do this teddy bear face and then get some green bibs, you've got a really Really cute Halloween costume. The Penguin Kids Halloween Costume Contest is live now and you can find more information on how to enter in the description box below, as well as a playlist to other looks I created from popular books to help inspire you. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more and have a fun and safe Halloween.